big one. What's up everyone? I'm back doing this video right after my previous iris video. Another box day I got unexpectedly from Mark Sang Yang. Great, great, great sculpt here. It is the 30 centimeter resin, made of resin, so he's pretty stout and heavy. King Kong 1976. I know Mark produced a bunch of these and uh, like a kind of a mass production people pre-ordered them and I wasn't able to do that and we've had a rough year with COVID me and Mark because I have a lot of projects still with him like 30 plus 30, 33, 35, something like that and he was having extreme difficulties with the clay. So the last one I ever got was Toward the beginning of the of 2020 was the uh, Kong Skull Island Kong Killing Ramorak. So he hasn't been able to get clay because um, COVID hit right around there right after that. And it's been a really bad year for Mark and for our collaborative effort of my project. So he sent this to me, made this for me because he did have some resin. All my projects I've got commissioned with him are for to me made with the epoxy clay i believe so and he's having really bad troubles because of covid getting that so he felt really bad and we talked and stuff and he sent me he made me this he had some leftover resin from those projects he made um of the 76 kongs and he made me one and i think this one's a bit different than the others um this is great <laughs> a good likeness of 76 in my opinion and that face is pretty darn close guys i think but um of course king kong 1976 the first remake of the original 33 kong and that is definitely a love-hate relationship movie for a lot of people and i'm on the love side because i feel like the kong in the film it's really cool looking. Rick Baker did a great job on the suit and his portrayal of Kong in the film. And I love the way Mark captured it here. Um, it's really, really cool. But, I mean, I, I can understand why people... I've, one of the things I've always heard is there's no dinosaurs in the film. And that is true. There is no dinosaurs in the film. So I can understand why people would have some dislike and discord for the film because it is a departure or rather stark departure from the original film but i also see why they did it the way they did with the time er and era that it took place in this mid 70s the oil crisis and energy crisis so they were uh clamping down on current events so to speak there so i mean i like the movie i like the design of the kong my favorite Kong roar still is this 76 um, Kong. I love the roar. Um, really great movie. Um, I enjoy it. Of course, it, it pretty closely follows in the regard of the ending. That Kong gets um, killed by humanity and brutally killed, I must say. It's a bloodbath, really. Um, but I love the movie. I love that this Kong, this design of Kong. I like how his size in the movie is a lot bigger. He's like 40 or 50 feet tall, I want to say, where the first movie was like 20 to 25. He's almost doubled in size in this film, and I really do like the scaling of this Kong. Um, makes him more imposing and more uh, of a threat, in my opinion. But it's a great film. I love the musical score of the film as well, as you can tell in my beginning um opening you can uh, hear some of that music and it, it's got a good score to it so it's great stuff really great stuff 
bravo to uh, Rick Baker for his com- his performance and design of the suit. Great stuff. This Kong, as you can see, I think it captures his essence really well. He's got some big, thick legs here on front and back. Pretty stalky looking, just like that Kong was up here on his back. Very broad, muscular looking, thick back. I mean, this Kong was a stalky and he was looked like he could tear anything apart, you know. Um, and he was totally upright. Um, the 33, of course, did some knuckle walking and stuff. He was a mixture of both, but this Kong was 100% upright. No, he was bi- bipedal all the way. So it's really unique in that fact. But it's really, look at that, at the legs in the back. To me, it really captures the 76 there. Nice feet sculpting here, um, toes and stuff. They're a lighter, almost grayish tone compared to the fur on the body and the chest. The feet and the chest are almost light, darkish gray tone. And then the, then the hands, the feet and the chest, and then the face area. And then the rest is the brown fur. But it's nicely done. Front of the legs there, really thick, like I said. Heavily, very, uh, looks very stout. Up here on his arms, of course, the uh, left hand is cupped open. And uh, as you can see in my pictures, I have a little girl figure that I use with my dioramas and stuff with Kong. And if his hand is open, I'll put her in there. But that left hand is cupped. Nice sculpting of the hands, fingers. The left, the right hand is clenched like in a fist, ready to punch something. Um, but it's cool. Very thick, heavily thick, muscular looking arms here. Very bulky looking. Nice big thick chest there. Really reminds me of the 76 Kong, really. It's great, great, great. It's nice. I think he captured the real proportions of this Kong, you know, how he was, you know. It's pretty cool. Um, but like I said, big, stalky, thick arms and chest, you know. Looks like he could just tear anything apart, you know. And then up here on his face, classic, that classic look of that Kong with his mouth slightly open showing his teeth. His eyes are the dark the dark eyes in the movie like he has predominantly. The darker eyes with some uh, orange and reddish color in there. Really cool. Big wide nostrils. Pronoun- pronounced eyebrow, cone, cone shaped head. Just like the Kong should be and was in the movie. So very cool uh, sculpting of the ears as well. But big, burly, strong looking Kong like he was in the film. Um, I do really admire this portrayal and this suit of Kong very much. And the roar, like I said, still my favorite Kong roar to this day. He, he just has a very unique roar in, in that movie and it's great. This is a cool, cool thing. And like I said, Mark did this for me as a kind of an apology type, a, a Christmas present as well, but um, I understand COVID messed the whole world up, so he's hoping that we get back to normal here soon and he can start on my uh, projects, which I think what we got lined up is the uh, gigantic Fire Godzilla 2019. Um, that's our project we're wanting to start on next. Hopefully if we can manage that clay comes through for him so that's what i'm hoping for hoping next year this year 2021 i mean will be a lot better as far as our uh sculpting and collaboration with mark sang yang all right everybody i'll bring up some size comparisons real quick let's do that right now all right everybody i'm back here i've got the x plus version one the star ace x plus version one kong skull island my very first 76 kong i got from mark with my new kong 76 these are all 30 centimeters in scale As you can see there between these two here he bulked up quite a bit and i feel this is really closer to what i re finally remember the suit as this one's good but I think this one's a little bit better as far as the proportions of his suit, especially in the upper body and the legs. You know, it just 
I think it captures the 76 more. Those three uh, look pretty cool. As you can see, the X Plus Star H Kong are pretty much. X Plus is like a shade taller, maybe a quarter inch at that. So he's got the scaling really well there, I must say. All right, everybody. I'll move on to some quick final thoughts. And let's do that right now. All right, I'm back. King Kong 1976, 30 centimeter figure, made out of resin. So he's a heavy little fella. By produced by Mark Sing Yang. Like I said, he did mass produce some several months ago, and um, he did this one too for me. Just as a, uh, he felt bad for what happened with COVID, but that ain't his fault. It's nobody's fault. So, but um, hopefully this coming year we'll have a lot better year with our sculpting collaboration i hope but this thing is great i know anyone that got the original one that he did i i'm pretty sure i heard what's high praise of it and uh i'm real happy with this one here it's great stuff nice kong 76 if you ever want a kong 76 mark captures him better or just as good than i've seen anyone there ain't no figures of this Kong anyway, so so rare to have any good Kong figures, so just nice to see someone capture the 76 in such a positive way. Alright everybody, I'll bring the camera forth for a quick look at this guy. I appreciate everyone that always tunes in, supports me here. I appreciate y'all. This is Phil the Kaiju King from my collection room in Greater Cincinnati, and I wish you all a very blessed day. I'll talk to you again soon. Animal breathing. Animal. Are you crazy? And I'm not so sure that human feet have never walked the island before. You see, in 1605, Harold Bernanda de Pires was blown south from Tenetang. He wrote in his log of piercing the white veil. That's obviously the cloud bank. And landing on the beach of the skull, where he heard the roar of the greatest beast. The rest of that log entry, unfortunately, was suppressed by the Holy Office in Rome. Who are you? In, uh, in 1749, a waterlogged lifeboat was found in the same area. It was empty, but drawn in blood on the thwart was a likeness of some huge slouchy humanoid thing and this strange warning from thy wedding with the creature who touches heaven lady god preserve thee <laughs> 